All right, what's going on, guys? I'm bringing you Q&A number 12, and as always, I get all of these questions from Twitter, so if you would like a chance to be featured in a future episode, just follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description, and ask me your question whenever I tweet out, which is usually like once a month or so I try to do it, so you could be in the next episode. That being said, let us get right into the questions. Number one, who is your favorite porn star all right this was a hard question i had a lot of people ask me this and i'm not gonna lie i really had to sit there and think about it for a while and i think i've come to my decision and and i'm gonna have to go with my guy johnny sins all right he is a very talented actor as i'm sure pretty much all of you have seen some of his work before let's be real here uh you know he's always playing so many different versatile roles one day he's a doctor the next day he's he's an astronaut, you know, then he's a businessman, you know, whatever the fuck the scene needs him to be, he is down to play the role, so he's very diverse with his talent. So definitely gonna have to go with my man's Johnny as my favorite. All right, no homo, of course, I guess I should uh, throw that one in there, you know, miss me with that, I'm just saying, like, you know, we gotta keep it real here. Question number two, what do I think about the whole PewDiePie situation? Okay, here's the thing, the only reason I didn't make a whole separate video video talking about that like literally everyone else did is because I had just recently made a video about him like two weeks ago with the whole n-word situation so I don't know I didn't want to like hop on his dick again within two weeks and make another video defending him and you know literally everyone made a video defending him so it's like all right I don't really need to hop on that especially considering that I already made a video on like a situation like that you know what I mean so that's the reason I didn't make a video but obviously the media is retarded in this situation it's actually it's not that they're retarded it's just that they're just like fucked up you know what I mean so I understand if maybe you found the joke offensive okay you know that's fine you're free to be offended by whatever the fuck you want to be offended by but the problem with what the media has done is they're not saying that it was a joke they're trying to pretend that PewDiePie is literally a fucking racist Nazi who's like fucking gassing Jews in his basement that's what they're trying to pretend that he's doing that's why it's fucked up nobody would be mad if the media was just like hey man that was a fucked up joke you shouldn't do that if they would acknowledge the fact that it was just a joke they're not acknowledging that they're just trying to paint him out as like some sort of fucking nazi which it makes no sense at all and they're not stupid either they know what they're doing it's not like they watched the video and they didn't realize it was a joke clearly it was a joke everyone who watched the video realizes that they're just purposely i guess pretty much slandering his name i don't know if maybe he could find some sort of legal action against them although I, I don't think that would be a good idea it's not even worth it in the end but they're purposely misleading people to think that he's a fucking racist or whatever so that's the problem with that I pretty much summed up a nice 10 minute video in like a minute there explaining it so that's my thoughts on that uh, it kind of sucks for him because you know he is the biggest youtuber and while that comes with a lot of fucking views and money and all that he also gets criticized quite a bit because he is under the biggest spotlight you know what I mean like for example if I I would have made that exact same video no one would have given a fuck but since he is the biggest youtuber and you know people are watching his stuff they're all getting millions of views if he does something like that it will get blown way out of proportion so that's just how it is man the bigger you are the more careful you got to be with your videos unfortunately actually i mean i can even speak from experience back in the day you know when i was sitting at like 100k when i had first started making like the non call of duty videos like the funny videos I could really just say whatever the fuck I wanted for like a year I was just saying whatever I wanted and I didn't get a strike or anything and then eventually as I got bigger and my videos started getting more attention and stuff I started getting goddamn strikes on my channel from shit that I would say so I was like oh you know I gotta kind of watch out here I can't be just saying whatever I want so it sucks that that's how it is but unfortunately that is how it is all right the next question comes from Jared and he says your best friend is gonna die in 24 hours the only way to save his life is if you suck his dick. Do you save his life? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to sit him down, okay, in a chair. I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to look him in the eye, and I'm going to say, Hey, man, it's been cool knowing you, but you dying today, bro. See ya. Miss me with that gay shit, man. I mean, I'll tell you what. I say a lot of crazy shit, but if it really came down to it, I don't think I could do that, man. Because I'll tell you what. Even if I did do it and I saved his life, 
life and he was good. I don't think we can just go back to being friends as if everything is normal. You know what I mean? Like, I just sucked your goddamn dick. We can't just pretend that didn't happen, all right? Like, I don't know how we go back to just being friends after all that. Like, it's gonna be really weird. So I think you're just gonna die, man. I guess that makes me a bad friend. I don't know, but I'll tell you what, right? I don't feel too bad about my decision because I wouldn't expect them to do the same for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be totally fine with them saying, nah, man, like, I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, see you later. Peace. You know what I mean? Nice knowing you. You know what I mean? So, I think that's fair. If I don't do it and I don't expect them to do it, I think that's a fair trade off right there. It's not like I'm saying, yo, I'm not gonna do it, but you better come over here and start sucking. You know what I mean? Like, if I was like that, then it'd be fucked up. But as long as either none of us are doing it or both of us are doing it, I think both those answers are solid. But what you guys think, man? You going down on your boy's meat if he needed it, man? I don't know, dude. Like, let me know your thoughts. Like, it depends on how good of friends you are, too. Like, what if you've only been friends with this dude for, like, two years or something? It's like, eh, you know, I'll find a new friend, bro. Like, I like you, man, but I don't like you that much. But if it was, like, a, a childhood friend that you were friends with since you were, like, five years old and you're, like, 18 now, then, you know shit, I might have to start sucking. I don't know. Next question comes from Saiyan from Earth. He says, your all-time top five NBA players in order. All right, I didn't really put too much thought into this. This is just like off the top of my head, but Jordan, Kareem, LeBron, Magic, Wilt. That's my top five. I think that's a pretty respectable top five. You might have the order a little bit different. I know all the fucking 15 year olds on Twitter that started watching basketball in 2011 have LeBron as the GOAT, but let's just settle down there. But other than the order, I think the actual five players is pretty solid. I think the majority of people would agree with that, or at least four out of those five they would agree with. All right, the next question was about posting like IRL videos, basketball videos, workout videos, face cams, vlogs, all that type of IRL stuff. And I'll tell you what, all right, because I've actually been playing basketball a little bit for the last like month or so, not really going hard or anything, but I've been trying to see if I can work on my vertical so I can dunk. Now, I'm only 5'10", so I'm like average height. People ask me how tall I am all the time. I'm only 5'10". So in order for me to dunk, I would need at least a minimum 36 inch vertical, which that ain't no fucking joke. For example, apparently Russ has a 36 and a half inch vertical, right? And y'all seen how that fool be flying, all right? So 36 36 ain't no joke, but I'm actually probably at like 31, maybe 32 right now. Like currently, I could probably dunk a tennis ball or maybe even a softball. Like those are a little bit bigger. I could dunk that, but I can't dunk a men's size basketball. In high school, the closest I ever got was I could dunk a volleyball. So I've always been kind of close, but I've never actually got there. So I don't know. I've just been like working on it for like the last month. And I think I'm at a pretty good point, even though like I haven't actually been trying for it, if that makes sense. So if I really try I think I can get it done so if I can get a video of me dunking that will be like a IRL video I'll post other than that like I'm not gonna post vlogs and shit like hey guys eat my fucking oatmeal this morning what's up how you like I'm not doing vlogs like that that's awkward as fuck and I, I don't get those I don't get why people watch vlogs like that but if it's actually something entertaining it will either be like a, a basketball video or a workout video and it won't just be like a hey like this is my fucking workout it'll be like some sort of like challenge you know what I mean so over this summer over the next couple months I'm gonna be going hard and we'll see what happens I will probably have something IRL to post for you guys but other than that I wouldn't expect too much all right next people want to know my thoughts on the new Call of Duty the Call of Duty 2017 situation all right so I haven't really made a video on it yet because I'm just waiting for more information it's hard to make a video when we don't really know much about it but here's kind of my thought process so far all right. I don't want to get too excited just yet. Yes, I believe they have confirmed boots on the ground. All right, that's good. That's a huge step. That's great. Also, it's supposed to be like Vietnam or World War II or something. That's also good. So it sounds like we're having an old school Call of Duty with the old setting with boots on the ground. All right, this all sounds really good, right? But I don't want to get too excited about it until we actually see the game, all right? Because we don't really know anything yet for sure. And even if all that is true, they could still find a way to mess it up so I just don't want to like look ahead too much and then be disappointed again that being said I do think no 
matter what, at least this is my personal opinion, the way I look at Call of Duty, no matter what, a boots on the ground COD is automatically better than a jetpack COD. So this next game, if it is boots on the ground, it's instantly better than the last three CODs for me just because you're not fucking flying around. You might feel differently, maybe you like some of the jetpack bullshit, but I, I really hate it and I don't want to deal with it. So instantly, when it's boots on the ground, it automatically is better than the last three CODs. Doesn't matter what the fucking game is like. The game could be absolute shit. You know, for example, Ghosts. A lot of people hated that game. I I still think Ghost is better than the last three CODs we had just because you're not flying around. But when you compare Ghost to other boots on the ground CODs, like if you compare Ghost to BO2, MW2, BO1, stuff like that, you're like, okay, Ghost is fucking dog shit. But since it is boots on the ground, it's better than this flying garbage, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts so far. I know this next game is gonna be better than the last three CODs for me, but will it compare to other boots on the ground CODs? I don't know. That's what we gotta wait and see. All right, the final question question will be about I guess transgenders I had so many people asking me like a different variation of the same transgender question all right so here's my thoughts on it for real all right because I make a lot of jokes about it or whatever here's the thing right Number one, she can't still have a dick, all right? All right, that's the number one criteria here, okay? That is an automatic no. What the fuck is going on here, right? She cannot have a fucking penis, all right? Regardless of how hot the dude looks, who now looks like a girl or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how hot they may look, if they still have a dick, that's an automatic no, all right? I, I don't even gotta think about that one. That's like, okay, what the fuck? Hell no, like, I ain't with that. But... If they do not have a dick, that's where like, okay, like, huh, this is interesting. As I said on Twitter, can't get her pregnant if she was born a man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a pretty good benefit right there. But for example, let us just look at one of these transgenders. Uh, this one right here is supposed to be known as the most beautiful transgender in the world, apparently. And as you can see, she pretty bad. So I'm just gonna leave y'all with the question right here. Smash or pass this girl right here? Like, Yes, that did used to be a dude. I believe she does not have a penis anymore and she looks like that. So smash your pass. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm smashing even if I know that's a fucking dude. I don't care. Like, I think you might be gay if you say pass, to be honest. Like, you might be the gay one here, not me. So don't judge me for saying smash, all right? That's all I'm saying. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter if you would like to be included in the next Q&A. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.